Life, situation, comedy, and soaps. Beer commercials and new cokes. Porno cassettes and microchips. Of history. It's WW10. We have been invaded again. Friday night. And the bats are barking outside my open window. I'm sitting next to my radio. And it's 20 past 10. The car's three stories below give an occasional honk. The bus is right on schedule. An occasional truck will fart. Somebody will laugh. Brakes will squeal. A ghetto blaster will glide through on the shoulder of some 15-year-old kid. Provide music and symmetry. The laundromat just closed. The liquor store is open for another 30 minutes. I know, it's 10.30, cause the 10.30 cockroach emissary from the wall just walked across my twice a year clean rug. And it's clean tonight. And I'm clean tonight. And I ain't running downstairs and out the door to the liquor store for more booze. I'll turn out the light tonight. The money in Newport wanted out. Wall Street was happy. The hookers were happy. The president didn't give a shit about the rest of the country. They're too poor to care about politics. They had free TVs, army surplus, left over from the last war. World War X, we've been invaded again. Golfing generals, shouting. Let the computers run the fucking wars. Not a man's game anymore. Some states are just pits now. Just smoke and rubble. New Hampshire lost her dispute with Vermont. And they burned her down. Like in the microchip south of the Civil War. Tooth and nail was not enough. Small wars to keep the populations down. But just long enough to keep our feet on the ground. The old generals used to say. These all smell like perfume. Fish had been gone for so long, and all that coke ate up the old cars and planes. 58,000 army surplus Cadillacs. 47,000 army surplus Chris Crafts. Yeah. Spitting in the Black Lake, the old general used to say, let the computers run the war. It's not a man's game anymore.